The first thing, don't believe, don't believe everything you hear, okay? Number one, think of this very, very logically, okay? We are going to be talking about why the driving tests are in such high demand and so expensive, okay? So let me explain this to you and you, can, you will see by the end of this what's happening and what has happened. Because I've taken these figures from the DVSA stats themselves. I went back and I went and looked for their, for their actual records and pulled the stats out of their records. And I'll show you that, they, that, the, that the DVSA have misrepresented their year stats from the stats that they published in their, in their annual report. Their annual report has misrepresented the statistics. And, and I would love the DVSA to come and explain that to us. So maybe we'll invite them for a discussion. But look at, just think of this. We, for every person who does a theory test, if eventually that theory test person has to have one or two or three driving tests to get through the driving test. So for every theory test pass, you've got to have, a number of driving tests because the theory test pass rate is 47 percent according to the dvsa i'm going to show you the percentages as well but that means that every person who passes their theory test is looking for a driving test so it just makes logical sense that you should have at least equal equal now there are no prime rates on theory tests because theory tests are manageable you, are, you can have a theory test, what, Yolanda, a week, two weeks, three weeks? And if you really wanted a theory test, we could get you one in a week's time. Is that right? Travel, yes. A little bit of traveling. Traveling is no problem with a theory test. doesn't matter which test center you sit it in. It's the same stuff. It's all on computer. So the problem is that the cost of taking a driving test has risen because there aren't enough test slots available. And looking at the statistics, that is going to be really clear. This shortage has created massive demand, which means people are waiting longer to get a test date, to stay prepared, having to do extra lessons and all sorts of additional costs as a result of this. Many learners have to pay for these costs and it it's driving up the costs of the test because of the demand. So some people are also paying more to reschedule test slots, making the process even more expensive, the lack of availability, the difficulty of getting into the actual driving test booking system with all these massive securities makes it very difficult for the individual who's trying to get through his test. So theory tests are available, they're out there, they're available. And because they're available and because they supply sufficient theory tests, there's no demand on those theory tests. It's the same as with diamonds. Diamonds really are expensive because there are so few of them and so many people chasing them. And this is what's happened with the, with the driving test. Look at these stats. So what I did was, this is post-COVID, these blue lines are COVID lines. Okay, so post COVID, you had 878,000 people passing their theory test, and that was a pass rate of 47.1. They produced 1.8 million theory tests, okay, in that year, right? And driving tests were seven, 734,000 people passed. That means there was a deficit before COVID in that year of 144,000. That was the deficit, the difference between theory tests and driving tests. Then we had COVID. This is the COVID year, right? In the COVID year, 496, they had much less. Look at the number there, it's much less. They had 496,000 passed, but they only had 217,000 driving tests. They had a deficit of 128% in the COVID year. Now, remember, that deficit is going to carry over to the next year. The number of people passing the driving test must be more or less equal to the number of people passing the theory test for it to keep up. Otherwise, it doesn't keep up. So they started with a deficit 
of that by the end of that year, a 420 or nearly half a million deficit in driving tests. The next year, which was a clear year, 221 to 222, 486,000 deficit. That was terrible deficit. That means they had nearly a million people looking for driving tests. Now, because all these people are looking for driving tests, it's pushing up the driving test prices because nobody can find driving tests because everybody's looking for driving tests. At the moment, they are sitting with a deficit of 1.4 million, if you keep running those figures, of driving tests, which means they've almost got a full year's driving test behind because it's taking, you, you, you can't get driving tests and it takes you about a year, normally, if you're looking at for yourself, it takes you about a year to get a driving test, which means they've got a full year's deficit in driving tests. Now, the worst thing about this, which to me is absolutely terrible. Okay, that's, that's the figures from their annual. This is their financial year figures that I brought out into, the, into, the, into this so that we could have a look at them. And I pulled them from their general financial year figures. This is the DVSA stats figures I pulled this from. This is their stat requirement figures for the years starting back in 2007. Now, I could have pulled all of those, but I didn't. I just pulled the last couple of years so that we could have a look at them. And this reports on what they're doing. This is their internal financial year. And, and it's the financial year. It says the financial year for that period of time. Now, this is what makes me really sad. According to their financial report, according to their DVSA annual report, this is the DVSA's annual report, they reported that they did, look at this, this is crazy. I, I can't believe that they, can actually, that they actually did this. They reported, oh no, we did 2.9 million theory tests conducted. That's what we conducted. Yet their internal reports, when in actual fact, they actually did 2.6, but they reported 2.9. It's unbelievable. And then in the driving tests, they actually did 1.9, and they reported 2.175. And I don't get that in their financial report. But in their actual internal reports, they reported the, the actual report was a lower figure. That to me is just plain lie. So that means the whole of this document they put out, this official document, is all a lot of rubbish. I'd like them to come and explain this. I really would. I'd really. And, and they, now you guys, just looking at that, guys, 2.9 million let's just look at those figures in front of us 2.9 million conducted tests conducted 47 percent pass rate which which puts them at somewhere around about what 1.8 million people looking for driving tests because and then 2.175 but 34 35 percent passes which means you've got a massive de deficit. They are reporting a massive deficit, and that's the problem. That's where the whole problem is. That's why these driving tests are so expensive, or why everybody is hunting driving tests. I really wouldn't like, I'd rather have enough driving tests that we don't have to be like, do this, get, get out there and get it done.